So today I'm talking about a P0440 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. And so what is a P0440 code? Well, it's an evaporative emission system malfunction large leak. And what does this mean? Well, modern vehicles have what's called an EVAP system that basically takes all the gas vapors from the gas tank and feeds them back up to the engine to get burnt off so they don't escape into the atmosphere. And for some reason, the computer's seeing a problem inside of this. And so it's going to have to be troubleshooting a why. And depending on the vehicle, the year, the make, things like this, there can be some differences going on inside of the EVAP system. So it's always a good idea to get a diagram for your specific vehicle to know for sure what's going on. But the basics of what's happening is that gas vapor is going to leave the gas tank, they're going to go through a hose, and they're going to go over to what's called the vapor charcoal canister. And this is basically kind of like storage for the gas vapors. And then either on or near the charcoal canister is going to be what's called a vent valve. And the vent valve does different things. The computer can use this to test the system. It can open up at certain times and close at different times. And the computer can check to see if there's leaks and different things like this. And then a hose is going to leave the charcoal canister and it's going to go up to the top of the engine to what's called a purge valve. And the purge valve basically just opens up when the engine's running so all the gas vapors can go in and get burnt off. And then when the engine's not running, it closes so the gas vapors can't escape. And so that's a real basic idea of what's going on inside of the EVAP system. But like I said, it can be a good idea to get a diagram for your specific vehicle. And so what are some possible causes of a P0440 code? Well, the first thing to go and check is going to be this gas cap. Be sure it looks like it's good, like it's sealing up, that it's not cracked or damaged or anything like this. This is a very common problem with EVAP systems that have leaks is that that gas cap just got old or damaged and it's not sealing up correctly. This is also going to include newer vehicles that don't have a gas cap, but they got an inlet that seals up. If that inlet is not sealing up, then it's going to cause an evap leak. So it's going to be the same thing. Go and check it. Be sure that it looks like it's good, that it's sealing up correctly and things like this. But the first thing that could cause this is a bad gas cap or inlet. The next thing that could cause this is that there is a leak somewhere inside the system. One of these hoses is leaking or one of these components has gone bad and is leaking or something like that. And so you can't check them out. You can't go around all these components and all these hoses and everything inside of the EVAP system. Check to see if there's any damage and be sure everything's sealing up correctly. But it can't be hard to find a leak inside of the EVAP system. If you took it to a mechanic, what they would do is they use a smoke machine and they feed smoke into the EVAP system. And then wherever the smoke come out, they would know where the leak's at and they'd be able to fix it. So there's some low-cost smoke machines on like Amazon or eBay. I'll put a link down below if you need one. You can also make these up yourself for like five, ten dollars There's some YouTube videos on that. But the next thing that could cause this is that there is a leak inside the system somewhere and it's going to need to be found. The next thing that could cause this is that the purge valve went bad, that it's stuck open so it's causing a leak. The purge valve is going to be located up inside the engine compartment somewhere. It'll have like two hoses on it and a wiring harness. And this is basically just a valve that the computer commands to open and shut at different times. I made a video on how you go about testing these. I'll put a link down below if you need to check that out. But the next thing that could cause this is going to be a bad purge valve. There's another valve that can go bad called the vent valve. And this is usually located on the charcoal canister or right next to it. The charcoal canister is going to be located up underneath the vehicle, right around the gas tank somewhere. It's going to have some hoses going to it and different things like this. And just like the purge valve, if that vent valve gets stuck open, then it can cause a leak and it can cause issues. There's some different ways to go about testing that vent valve. If you have a good OBD2 scan tool, quite often they'll have an option inside there where you can enable and disable the vent valve. And if you listen really closely, you can hear it open and closing or different methods like this. But the next thing that could cause this is going to be a bad vent valve. The next thing that could cause this is going to be a bad charcoal canister. If anything goes wrong with that charcoal canister, like it's leaking or something like this, then it's going to cause issues. Quite often if a mechanic thinks that there's a bad vent valve or a bad charcoal canister, they just swap out the whole charcoal canister because like I said, usually the vent valve is built into the charcoal canister. Not all the time, but about 80% of the time it's going to be inside the charcoal canister. The next thing that could cause this is a bad fuel tank pressure sensor or EVAP pressure sensor. And basically this pressure sensor is reporting back to the computer what's going on inside of the EVAP system. So if it goes bad, it might be reporting bad information back to the computer. And so the computer just thinks there's a leak, but there isn't. That pressure sensor can be located differently. Quite often it's built into the fuel pump, but sometimes it could be like up on top of the gas tank and different things like this. It can vary exactly where it's located. But the next thing that could cause this is a bad fuel tank pressure sensor. And one thing to keep in mind with all these components, if anything goes wrong with the wiring going to any of these components, it's going to cause the same symptoms as that component failing. So if something's wrong with the wiring going to that pressure sensor or something's wrong inside the wiring going to the vent valve or purge valve or anything like this, then that's going to cause issues. So be sure to keep that in mind. But the last thing on the list is going to be some kind of wiring problem going to all these different components. And so that's basically it. I just wanted to give a basic overview of how you go about fixing a vehicle with the P0440 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you, please click like, please click subscribe, and have a good day.